Good evening, everyone. My name is Heath Haskins, Code Prime, and welcome back to another Lumber Tycoon 2 video. But before I get started, hit that like button, that comment button, that subscribe button down below, especially if this is like your first time ever watching one of these episodes, because I'm not really hypered on coffee. I'm, I've been drinking coffee to try and bring myself down, try and calm myself, because I got a package. We went to a soccer game, and it was cold, and it was late, and anyhow... It's late that I'm doing this video, so I gotta get it done. And um, before I do, um, Mr. De Reaper, thank you so much for the package that you sent to me. Um, I'm going to open it on camera. <clears throat> mm. For those of you that don't understand the uh, on camera, I pre-open all packages. Doesn't matter who it's from, where it's from, anything. De Reaper is one of my uh, one of my admins, proteges, admins. I don't know. One of my staff members. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Anyhow, uh, I'm going to make it look like I'm opening it on camera. It's really amazing. Oh, like it's, it is, hold on. I'm not showing any addresses or anything. But who uses duct tape to box up a... <laughs> so, it's a, it's a fairly big size thing here, so... Gotta open it up. Okay, there we go. Oh, oh my goodness, what do we have? Okay, so right off the bat, the first thing I see are Skittles! But they're the they're the zombified ones. The zombie Skittles. So hear them crinkle. Oh that means they're fresh. <laughs> so I love me some Skittles. Thank you so much for the candies. Got to got to eat one on this label. This unit is not labeled for retail sales. <gasps> no. Hmm. What does this do? Just beware. Hmm. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> Most taste delicious, but some taste like rotten zombies. Dare to try. Whoops. <laughs> Hello. What's up, boy? Well, I ruined that. <laughs> okay, I will. I will try that again. Um, like with my kids or something. That way we can uh, we can play. And then I don't know if these are stickers or decals for like windows on cars or what they are. But there's one that says Mama Bear. I imagine that's for for Liz. And then there's a um. A Wonder Woman whoa, um, breast cancer awareness thingy. Again, I don't know. Are, are these like temporary tattoos or am I supposed to put these on windows of cars? And then there's a butterfly with a ribbon, which are beautiful. I love them. Okay. So it looks like we got four plastic straws. Not well, non-disposable non straws. So save the turtles, I guess. <laughs> and then Christmas time is coming up, and we got a an ornament. Look at that! It's a little uh, survivor ornament thingy. That is awesome. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Christmas 2019, but but but, boom! <laughs> Look at that. That is awesome. Thank you so much. It looks like it's made out of uh, um, like layered acrylics or something like that. I'm definitely going to hang that up on the Christmas tree this year. And what else do we have in here? <laughs> it says Wonder Woman. Oh, it's got Elizabeth on it. It says Wonder Woman and it's the Breast Cancer Awareness. It's a pink uh, travel cup. It looks like it might be from Ozarka. I don't know who the company brand name is. I've seen that logo before, though. And then we got... <laughs> Heath Haskins with my logo. And then it's got at code primate right there. That's that's why you sent the straws. <laughs> See? I know. 
Holy cow, dude. That is amazing. Okay. I think that's it. Sorry about the loud noises. Loud noises. Uh, I hope you don't mind. I am going to switch cups. How much does this hold? Hold on. Mm, that's a 30 ouncer. This look, look, looks like it might be an 18. Maybe a 20. There's no labels on the bottom. Well, how am I supposed to like do reorders and stuff? I'll figure it out. Very cool. Very, very cool. Thank you so much to Reaper and Mini to Reaper because I'm, I'm sure he had um, a hand in that. And Mama to Reaper. Don't want to forget the straws. And the Skittles. There we go. Uh, that's trash. I'll, I'll, I'll trash that later. Amazing. Very cool. I love it. I love it all. Thank you so much. I really, I really appreciate it. Um, for those of you that want to send boxes or fan mail or whatever you wish, the, where is it? Boom, right there. Code Primate, P.O. Box 8004, SPFLD, which is Springfield, comma, M.O., which is Missouri, 65801. If you're mailing something from outside the U.S., you do need to put United States underneath that. Um, but the, beyond that, that's that's it. That's my P.O. Box. That's, that's my boat. <laughs> that's the Gen A. Eh? Um, <laughs> so... Let's get started, shall we? Um, last time we left off, we had our bridge down, and we almost got, or we, we did, we got to the very end of the thing. So, God, it's me. I see you. I see you. <laughs> give me free stuff. Give me free stuff. My, my base is here. Um, we need to make doors. No, no, no. We need to make uh, ladders. Ladders, because um, we're not going to be able to build upward. So... Let's go to other, and we need to do a rotate. Make sure that's down on the ground. Two, three. Whoa, 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 dude, 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 dude. Stop, stop, stop. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> no. I'm paranoid about WL. I'm paranoid about whitelisting. No, no offense. No offense. Just me. <laughs> He's like, fair call. <laughs> what was that? Nine, ten? Wait, what is it? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, uh, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Boom. And we automatically filled that one in. That was amazing. By the way, for the person that commented to me, I am so sorry that I called it a Manny Axe instead of the the Mini, the Manny Axe. <clears throat> it is M A N Y Mini Mini Axe because it's got mini heads, many purposes, and we need to switch the slot. There we go. So. Um, a lot of people are like, Code, why don't you ever use it? Well, because it's slow. It is super slow. Uh, yes, it does one hit wonders. But I mean, like, that wasn't accurate enough. So I'm going to have to hit that again. Blink. There we go. And then right there. <laughs> Somebody said, it's so satisfying to see Code chop one pixel... Uh, blocks. I'm like, yeah, it that actually is pretty, pretty nice. I don't think that one's going to. Yeah, we'll just we'll just use that full one right there. Okay, drop that in. Boom. What? Did you just jump off my head, dude? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa! Get back over here. Oh, there's a piece over there that like. Whoops. Hmm. Hold on. I want to make sure that that doesn't get lost. Or those. Okay. Come here, you. Come on. <sighs> okay. I reload. 
Uh, try not to reload whenever I'm inside the game, just because it um, does cause some significant lag. And you could possibly cause me to glitch out. It's happened before. Okay, so those Skittles, there's an aftertaste in there that I can I can definitely taste now. And it made my saliva all thick. I can't breathe. <coughs> By the way, it is day five of No Shave November, and it's coming in very nicely. I do have a little bit of salt and pepper right here. Not much, all right? I know I was, I was joking about the Rogaine for men, the, the, for beards, just for him or whatever it's called, and I, I won't need it. It's, it's nice and dark and full. And here's something else. I don't know why women dye their hair whenever it starts to go gray. I think it looks very distinguished. For some reason, it's just amazingly awesome when a guy's hair goes gray. Like, not full gray, but when you start to get those streaks and stuff like that, it just, it looks amazing. And I hope I hope I get, get the Fantastic Four with the, the two little gray streaks just right here on the side. That would be so awesome. I was thinking about dressing up like that for uh, Halloween one year, just because I wanted the streaks. Then I was like, oh, I'm not really a fan of the Fantastic Four. No offense. Just, I don't, uh, don't really watch them too much. By the way, did you know Captain America was actually, um, the Human Torch on, uh, Fantastic Four? Mm hmm mm hmm How do you work that one out with, uh, Avengers and stuff? All right, looks like we can do this. <coughs> boop, 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 move. Wait, gotta go down, gotta go up. Then we place. Then gotta go down. Gotta go up. <clears throat> Speaking of Captain America, look at his back. Look at that. Look at look. Ha <laughs> ha! Human Torch's shield. <laughs> or is is it Human Torch? Okay, Google. Who are the members of the Fantastic Four? According to ComingSoon.net, Fantastic Four members: The Fantastic Four, Reed Richards, Mister. Fantastic, Sue Storm, Invisible Woman, Johnny Storm, and Ben Grimm, The Thing, started the Fantastic Four together, and thus they are listed together here. Johnny Storm, aka the Human Torch. I was right. Okay. See? I was factually correct. And that is a good thing. Because I didn't want to look embarrassed. Especially on camera. Why is everyone looking at you? I don't know. <laughs> It's a little embarrassing. Why are people looking at me? You have a scoob. It's so amazing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on. Come on. There. I am placing it on my own land. Silly. Silly gooses. I, I should get that. I should get a shirt and just put silly goose on it. That would be an amazing thing. By the way, there is merchandise down below. Uh, you can go to Hello Juniper if you want. Um, I've noticed that their prices are a little bit more expensive, but that's also because they're shipping outside the U.S. I think it's coming from Canada or something like that. But um, it's pretty good quality. I mean, their sweatshirts um, are really comfy. Um, but there are other options. If you look down below, there are there should be some of those Teespring options. Where you can get um, cell phone cover cases. Uh, there should be a pair of socks or something like that down there. Just some little things that I threw together with my logos on it. If you wanted to purchase, you don't have to. But you know, the giving season is coming up. You got Thanksgiving. Uh, lots of birthdays happen in November and December time. Um, I know that my birthday is in December. You know, I'm going to be turning 38 years old. Okay, Google, how old am I? Old. I'll be turning 38 this year. 38. Oh my goodness! <clears throat> Two more years and I'm 40. <laughs> I better get a million subs before then. Cause that, isn't that the like the the limit? You can't have a million subs after the age of 40 or something like that. That's not true. Look at uh, Will Smith. <laughs> not comparing. Will Smith, if you're out there, did you want to do a collaboration? Maybe play some Roblox with me? Just saying. We could, you know, sit and talk and you know. You could talk about how you're a famous actor and I um, play lumber. <laughs> uh, 
just kidding, just kidding. How many of you know who Will Smith is? Um, a lot of you might know him from um, the Aladdin, the live action. He was the genie. Um, I know him from Fresh Prince of Bel Air, uh, and I also know him whenever he was still a rapper. <sighs> um, what else? Men in Black. Here come the Men in Black. And then the the Western one, the Wild Wild West, the Wild Wild West. <clears throat> oh, excuse, excuse me. Code, your cat gonna fall. Meow, 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 meow. Mr. Tux is not having it. He is not happy being up this high. He's like, I'm not sure that I can land on my feet from this height. <laughs> so this is what you do in your video during your videos, huh? Yes, except. You don't see the other part. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. Can I can I talk? Why why is it not uh hmm. I can't seem to chat. There we go. We just don't see the talking part. <laughs> Winky face. <laughs> because if you noticed, I uh, I do talk through like the majority of the video. Um, there are a couple of breaks every once in a while, but this is, this is the part that you guys come for, right? It's where I, I sit here and talk directly to you guys and, and like focus on you and say that you're a very unique and wonderful person. And thank you for being here. And if you had a bad day, I, I hope it gets better. Everybody has bad days once in a while and it's okay to have a bad day. You know, life is not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. In fact, if life were absolutely hunky-dory all the time, I don't think we would get anything done. There would be there would be no need to work, you know, to motivate and move towards something greater, a greater works of some kind. So, struggle is good. Struggle and conflict is good. Now, with that being said, I don't believe in like wars and taking over countries and stuff like that. There's more than enough resources to go around for everyone to be nice and happy and have their own little plot in life. Your own little piece of the world, your own little house or apartment or whatever building you want. There's plenty of it to go around. Um, please, wait, wait. Is that why I couldn't? Guys, I'm trying to build up there, please. Please stop with the jumpy things. <clears throat> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Whew. Deep breath. Deep breath. Deep breath. Ooh, there we go. It's going a little bit faster. Oh, excuse me. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Move. And drop. Wait, did that? <laughs> Worked. Uh oh, lag spike. Lag spike. <clears throat> Please move from where I am building. Thanks. I'm building up there, Loka. <clears throat> Loka. Loka. Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. Can can you can you get down, please? All right. <clears throat> Didn't want to do this. I don't even know if this is gonna work this high up. Is it? Oh, that worked. There you go. <laughs> there we go. SOZ code? What is SOZ? The Survivor of Zone. I, I don't know what it stands for. <clears throat> is there is there somebody with SOZ in their name? No? No? Okay. Hey, cool guy, one, two, three, four, one, two, five, six. How are you? Hope nobody glitches out my stuff down there. I don't want them to glitch out things. <clears throat> Excuse me. Excuse me, trying to build here. How many was this? This was 20 ladders? My goodness. And that's right where we start 
to bend to go downward, isn't it? Can I reach those? I cannot. All right. All right, everyone. Look out. Boink. Wee. <laughs> mm. Cool. All right. I'm going to move this stuff up here. Move this up here. Move this up here. Move. And here we go. Get ready. Jump. Woo. Skills. Uh, by the way, for anybody who's, this is your first time um, watching one of my videos, this is kind of what I do all the time. It's um, coming in here and just basically talking about life. So it's it's more like a, a daily vlog of my life than mm -hmm. it is, or it's motivation as well. But it's, it's mostly just me coming in here playing Lumber, which is like my favorite game, to come in and relax and to think. And... Well, no, we're gonna need another, another twenty of those things, aren't we? Well, I don't, I don't know how this is going to work because this is the door that we're going to start going, uh, sloping downward with. So I should probably open that door, move this one, hit B. Now, um, how do I do a cross section of the door at this angle? You know what? Let's just try it. We got plenty of time. I'm I'm only at 21 minutes, so I can start building some more doors. More door, and get them up there real quick. Uh, let's do a rotate there. One, a two, three, four, five. Uh, poop. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, ooh, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 20 doors. There we go. Do, 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 Okay, there we go. And here we go. One, two, three, four. Whoa, 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 whoa. That one was a little off. Six. Seven. It's got a reach to it, doesn't it? Whoa, that was too short. Dang it. Wafer. Wafer. There you go. Boink. That was a little bit longer than it needed to be. That one looked just about right. Nope, that was too, too short. Come on, there you go. Get in there. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be able to split that into two equally 90. That's not big enough. Darn. Okay. There we go. Drop it like it's hot. Um, this one looks good. Are you trying to glitch out my stuff? Please don't glitch out my stuff. Oh, excuse me. Not at the moment. It would lag code. Yes, thank you. Yes. Do not lag me, please. Mm. No lag in the server. <clears throat> we gotta have lag. In the servers. I was trying to do something along the lines of uh, hold on. You gotta hold on to what we got. This that's completely off key. I don't I don't even know that I was saying it right. <clears throat> I I could sing Journey. Just a small bass boy. Living in a London world! <clears throat> no. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe not. <clears throat> Took the midnight truck going anywhere. <clears throat> Just a small town girl. 
living in a lumber world. <clears throat> Strangers <laughs> sorry. in the night. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's a, it's a, it's a song by Journey, and it's a great song. But it's, it's just got the four chords. <laughs> anyway, it's kind of like Pocket Bell. Pocket Bell's just got like four chords. Is that right? Um, okay, so I don't mess this up. I'm going to chop it in half here. Then I'm going to chop it in half here. I'm going to chop it in half here. That should be it. So now I should be able to move these. Yoink! Way up in the sky. There's one. Move, look down, look up. 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 For those of you that don't know what I'm doing, um, if you try and move something, like look up there, it's not moving the door. It will not render the door until my mouse pointer has hit ground. Something on the ground level. Boink, like that. Then it will start to, to, to maneuver and place. So that's why I'm doing down up. And I have no clue where that landed. That was crazy, because I was not pointing up there. <laughs> Hopefully it did it. Um, it may have been the last point that it was pointed at, which is somewhere on the ladder. But that's okay. Is Code making a video? Yeah, how do you know? He usually stops talking during the videos. He usually stops to talk during the videos. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Hello. How are you? Hello, YouTube world. It is it is so fun. Like, when you guys join me and you start fanboying or fangirling, you know I fan as well, right? Like, <laughs> when Jingle's dad contacted me and was like, hey, would you mind doing a, a birthday surprise for him? I was like, ah! <laughs> I'm gonna meet Jingle! Oh my gosh, I got a fan! <laughs> so, it's very cool. It's very cool to like just chill and geek out about lumber and about life and games and just chilling and talking with people. Like, I think that is the most fun I've had in a long time. And it was a very, a very big reassurance for me. So, as you know, um, with doing YouTube and with doing um, videos and and Discord and everything else, there gets to this point where you feel like your ideas aren't enough, that you're trying to come up with the next big idea, the, the big thing to do. And I say this a lot. Um, it's self-confidence. My self-confidence just goes all the time. And I know that it's, it's just something that happens with YouTubers. Um, a lot of us do it. A lot of us do it. In fact, it's a very common place for people to take breaks. Like, oh my gosh, I'm going to take a break from YouTube for a while. And it happens. You don't realize it's happening, but it does. You burn yourself out doing these videos every night for five years. I mean, every night for five years. Well, almost every night. I have recorded videos. Not one. Maybe just one. But I've done up to four videos before. And it, it does. It burns you out big time. Take a break. It's okay. I promise. Like the views are going to be there. The the subscribers are not going to just automatically disappear overnight because you took a break. When you get up to like ninjas level and you end up losing out on forty thousand dollars because you missed three days of streaming, that's when you know you've got something. Okay? If you make forty thousand dollars in three days you better be putting some of that away for like savings and a rainy day and not wasting it. <sighs> My goodness, 40,000. How do you make that much? That is crazy. <sighs> Anyhow, um, for those of you that were wondering, I make anywhere from 600 to 800 to 1,000 during a month of videos. And that's just standard average. That's not enough to support me and my family. That's not enough for me to 
go off on a wild cruise or anything like that. It's just, it's like pocket money for me. Because, I mean, I've got kids. I've got bills. I've got to pay. So I'm going to work, work, work every day. <laughs> I've got mouths. I've got to feed. So I'm going to make sure everybody eats. <clears throat> Sorry. It just, it, it's part of life. It happens. Now, this isn't part of life. This is going to be how to set up an amazing door voyage. Now, i got to figure this out. Uh, look down first. Okay, I'm going to need to rotate. Nope, rotate. Turn. Hmm. Rotate? Like that, maybe? Um. Okay, maybe? Maybe that'll work? Here, let's uh, let's go ahead and can I close that? Close door. Now, if I do move B, does that swing out with this one? Okay, hold on. Move B. Hmm. 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 I gotta see if that one will actually work. So, let's go move B, and then for this one, move B. Dude, cool, that, cool guy. Cool it. Cool it. What are you doing? It's a long fall just to do a test, but I mean, we're at 31 minutes, so this is going to be the last little thing that I test for tonight. Did it leave anything up there? I have to go check. All the way up. I think that's cool guy climbing up the top there. It doesn't look like the door stayed up or stayed up there. It looks like it went on down, but I can't tell until I get to the top. <laughs> By the way, I think that's the is it, isn't the the French national anthem or something like that. I don't know. I don't know national anthems that well. I know mine. You should know your own if you have a national anthem. <clears throat> oh, say can you see? <clears throat> I better not. I, I'll probably offend somebody if I go singing patriotically like that. <clears throat> and I'm proud to be an American. Where at least I know I'm free. They played that, by the way, um, on the Crucible at the top of the, uh, the, the mountain. The very last day of the three-day Crucible where you have to hike up the mountain, hump up the mountain, and then at the top is the first time that the drill instructor hands you your EGA, which is the Eagle Globe Anchor. Um, it's a little black symbol that you place into your, your alpha helmet, or your alpha cover. No, Charlie's. Charlie cover. It's the green green cover. No, I guess you put it in the alpha cover as well. It's the white cover. There's two, and you kind of interchange them out unless you like make a lot of money or you're an officer and then you get a, a second one, which is just the, the rim of a, a hat. A cover is a hat, so, or a hat is a cover. That's what you call it in the Marine Corps. Anyhow, uh, at the top of the mountain is the first time that your drill instructor will call you a Marine and refer to you in the first person. For those of you that don't know, when you go to the Marine Corps boot camp, oh, come on. Why can't I do a slash? I can't do a slash. Wait, can I do a click? Oh, I can do a click there. Um, for those of you that don't know, when you go into the Marine Corps boot camp, you become a recruit. So everything you do is in the third person. This recruit requests permission. To go, this recruit requests permission to go to the bathroom. This recruit um, requests something else. This recruit was not aware. This recruit did this. You you don't refer to it. These recruits request to. So you don't even get the liberty of calling yourself I, me, or we. So. <clears throat> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Maybe that's why I'm so... <laughs> okay. So I made a statement about the pronouns of the the he, she, him, her thing. I made a statement about it. And I think I found the root cause of 
why I just don't care. <laughs> it might be because of the Marine Corps. I've been jaded by it. I lost, I lost my pronouns, <laughs> which is true. I, I did. Anyhow, thank you everyone for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2 with me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate. I know I went over uh, by at least five minutes. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. Do all those cool things I'm supposed to call out at the end of the videos. But it's up to you. If you want to, go for it. If not, that's cool too. Um, I know we didn't get a lot built, but we did get built up to where I can now jump on these doors. And these doors are going to be like the stairs that I can use at the top. So we won't need to build any more ladders after this. It's all these. Yay! Unless we there's like a straight area. Like flat area down there at the bottom. <clears throat> but I don't think there's going to be. Just because um, that's still a bit of a gap. If we look at the distance from right here to here. Oh, we can walk that. It'll be fine. Love you guys very much. Have a great night. We'll talk to you very soon. <gasps> Outro. <laughs>